What's up guys, Olaf here with a new guide on Tycho. This time we're going to be doing activities on Alpha 4. As usual, all links are going to be in description, but follow them at your own risk. So recently Tycho launched the Alpha 4 and in this particular testnet we have not only L2, but we're going to have L3. So that's key difference compared to Alpha 3. You can read more on technology part on their blog and the docs. Alongside with that, we also have new tasks on Galaxy. Also, as disclaimer, we're not going to set up Tycho node. So if you're looking for information regarding the node, you're not going to find it here. OK, let's start with the activities. First, we need to add the networks. And regarding testnet tokens, same as last time, you're going to need Cipolla ETH. I suggest using the Alchemy faucet for that. That gives you 0.5 ETH on the daily basis. If you don't have Cipolla still, uh, you can add this to your wallet. Then we need the L2 and the L3. This Grimm's Wotton network, this is L2. And basically it's the same as uh, an L2 in Alpha 3 testnet. It's just been basically rebranded. And then we have the l fell. This is an L3 testnet. And then here on the same page, we can add the tokens. Before adding the tokens to the specific network, connect to that network. Like make sure you're on Cipolla before adding Cipolla tokens. Otherwise, it will be prompted to again uh, add the network. Now we connect to L2, adding L2 tokens. As you can see on L2, I already have these tokens because they are the same exact tokens uh, as from the previous from the previous uh, testnet. And now we are on L3 and MetaMask. You can open and see all of these tokens. This is just basically for convenience. Then we're gonna move on to bridges. So we have two bridges now. One is L1, L2 bridge. Second one's gonna be L2, L3 bridge. So first let's go L1, L2 bridge. Make sure you connect your wallet and we're gonna need to be on Cipolia. Clicking on Cipolia. And here, first of all, you can go to the faucet and get yourself some bull tokens and horse tokens. As you can see for me, it says token already minted. If you did that on Alpha 3 testnet, you don't have to mint this again. You well, you won't be able to mint this again, at least not from this interface. And if you haven't done Alpha 3 testnet, you should be able to mint these tokens. The button's gonna be active. And again, these tokens, they are gonna be on Cipolia. Now also worth mentioning that your transaction tab is gonna contain all the transactions uh, from Alpha 3 testnet as well. Now let's go ahead and bridge some ETH. I'm gonna be doing one. So regarding the processing fee, as you may remember the last time, I recommended using a lot, a lot higher processing fee. Now it seems like network is not too congested, so you can just use the recommended processing fee. I'll just do aggressive here. And let's see how long it takes. Okay, transaction completed. That means it was completed on Cipolia side. If you now go to transactions, you now see this transaction here. Also regarding this button, this button is optional. You don't have to manually claim that, but you can try to speed up the process by pressing this button. It will prompt you to go to L2 and there you will need uh, to approve. But in most cases, this is completely not necessary. So you can just wait for it to be claimed automatically. And just 20 seconds later, it was auto claimed. Now we need to bridge the BLL tokens and the horse tokens. As you can see, my balance is quite low because I bridged the majority of them uh, in alpha three. Obviously you will need to approve token first. And then we can bridge that. So here I'm only doing the small amount. Uh, if you got the full 50 tokens, I would recommend bridge at least half of that. Okay, and now we can do bridging transaction. I don't even feel the need to press aggressive, like market is fine. 
Oh, that failed actually. And based on the error here, it looks like they kept uh, the previous. Yeah, it's actually in the document. The BLL token is expected to fail about 50% of the time when bridging. This is done intentionally for error handling. Just refresh the page and bridge it again. Okay, and now the horse. Same way. Approving, then bridging. Okay, we got it. Now you will probably have to wait like another minute for all tokens to arrive on L2. And we can go ahead and bridge from L2 to L3. Again, we're connecting the wallet here and make sure to select the L2, connect to L2. Also regarding the amount of tokens, do not bridge all the tokens that you bridge from L1 to L2, because we're gonna do swaps and provide liquidity on both L2 and L3. So we need to have tokens on every layer. So whatever you bridge to L2, I suggest take half and bridge that half from L2 to L3. You can do less than half, it's up to you. There are really no limitations here apart from one. The one current task on Galaxy has the limitation for the L2, where you need to swap at least 0.1 ETH uh, on the L2. So make sure to leave that 0.1 ETH there. Okay, let's bridge from L2 to L3. Starting with the ETH. And same system on this bridge, you can try to manually claim, but that's completely not necessary. And now let's bridge some BLL from L2 to L3. This is going a bit slower than L1 to L2, so you may want to use aggressive gas here. Bridging. Because aggressive is a lot higher than market in this particular case. Alright, and the last one is gonna be horse. Same process. As you can see also I'm approving max instead of approving default. I'm just doing that in case I need to do more bridging so I don't have to approve again. Yeah, it seems like uh, with aggressive gas it's going a bit faster, but again, I wouldn't say that uh, it's going slow. Okay, all three transactions are here. Uh, bull is already claimed and horse is gonna be claimed soon. We're done with the bridging, now we can move on to swapping tokens. First of all, we need to swap on L2. For some reason this button doesn't work. Use the button on the top right, connect in MetaMask, and here make sure that you are on L2. Here it says Tyco Alpha 3 testnet, but that's okay since we already know that it's pretty much uh, the previous L2. Choosing the list. So for Galaxy campaign, you can use any pair, ETH Bull, ETH TTKO or ETH horse. It's completely up to you, but that should be at least 0.1 ETH and you can use any of these tokens. I'm just do bull in this case. Then we're gonna provide liquidity. And by the way, this step is not mentioned in the Tyco guide, but I still recommend doing that. Okay, swap was successful. Now let's go and add the liquidity. As you can see, I already got this pull from the Alpha 3. Uh, let's do ETH plus bull. Okay, now we can supply. Now, as extra additional step, you can also remove some liquidity from that pool. I suggest just do 50%. Again, this is just for extra transactions on this testnet. You don't have to do it. If you want, you can skip this. 
The one part I suggest not to skip is the swap. Everything else you can skip pretty much. So we're done with L2 and now we need to do pretty much the same transactions on L3. Here button for some reason works. As you can see on the top right it says alpha 4 testnet which means we are on L3. Currently there are no tasks on Galaxy for L3 but in case they gonna add them I would still suggest to swap at least 0.1 ETH if you have it on L3 for any of the tokens. Insufficient liquidity. What? Oh wait, it was just loading. All right. So here basically everything works pretty much the same as L2. You're not gonna see any significant differences, at least you shouldn't. Okay, now liquidity. All right, and now let's remove some of the liquidity. Okay, it's been confirmed and we're done with that. Now let's move into deploying the contract. This is gonna be exactly the same as in Alpha 3. The only difference is we're gonna deploy here on both L2 and L3. And following Tycho's guide for the Remix, I suggest using Remix, we're gonna be deploying standard contracts from the Remix because I don't think there is any point to do anything differently in this stage of the testnet. So as always in the Remix, we need to click Contracts. We're gonna use storage.sol. And first of all, we need to make sure that we are on correct network. So in your MetaMask, you have to manually check. First of all, let's deploy on L2. Here we go into the compiler and I recommend not using the last version. Let's use 8.20. Once that's available, you press compile. Then we need to go to deploy and run. And in environment, we're gonna select injected provider MetaMask. You don't need to change any of the settings, just make sure that here you see your wallet address. Then we just click deploy. Confirming transaction and then we're gonna wait for the green check mark on the bottom, meaning that our contract has been deployed. Also is an optional step, but you can also see that in the Tycos guide there is verify contract page. So we're gonna go ahead and verify our contracts right away. Although I would also consider that to be an optional step. So for that, once you see this green check mark on the bottom, meaning that your contract has been deployed, in your MetaMask you should see this contract deployment transactions. We click here, then view on block explorer. On this page, you can see this contract address. We're gonna click on this one. Then we're going into the code and there is a button verify and publish. We click this button. Here you don't need to change anything, click in next. Then here we need to select the compiler that we used to compile our smart contract. In this case, it's gonna be uh, 8.20. Then the rest of the settings, again, you don't have to change and we click verify and publish. And about 30 seconds later, our contract is verified and you can now see the check mark where it says code. Usually verification works on the first attempt, but if you got the error, try to do that again. Then I suggest to refresh uh, the Remix page. And we're gonna do the same process, but only on L3, go into the storage, make sure that here you are on L3. If you're not L3, switch to L3. 
we're gonna compile again using the same compiler version. If that doesn't work for you for some reason, try using different version of the compiler. I'm going to deploy and run, select an injected provider MetaMask, make sure you have your wallet address here, and then you can deploy. Okay, we got it. Regarding verification on L3, I suggest you currently skip that because I don't know how exactly to do it. There is a different interface and I think you need to install some dependencies to flat on the source code. So in this case, I'm just gonna move on to the last part and that's gonna be campaigns on Galaxy. First one is getting started with Tycoon. We already touched on it in Drips 14. Then bridging and swapping, this is for L2. You should be auto eligible if you did transactions on L2 and for other tasks you just need to visit certain pages and then take a quiz. As always all quiz answers are gonna be in description and then there are two tasks for proving and proposing on L2 and every last task here gives 200 points before that you can take a quiz for 30 points. Now regarding the proving and proposing, in order to do that, you will need to set up the Tycho node. In order to do that, if you don't have your own server, you will need to set up the dedicated server. So that's gonna cost you some money, obviously. On top of that, you need to have some technical knowledge on how to do that. And also the most sensitive part here, you will need to import your wallet key. And if done incorrectly, you may expose your wallet key. And this is the biggest point of vulnerability in the whole process. So unless you know exactly what you're doing, I would actually suggest to just skip these tasks. And probably soon we'll have more tasks maybe for that swapping on L3. For the Tyco, we'll see. In the meantime, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you found it helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below with your questions and suggestions. And I'll see you next time.